entertainmentbuddha.com I'm Matt Haywood from EntertainmentBoo.com. We're going to do a little quasi let's play after the fact of Snow, which is now in early access on Steam and a beta on the PS4. So what you're seeing right now is the PS4 version of the game, which comes from Poppermost Productions. It will be free to play when it releases in full sometime in 2017, which means there will be add-ons and DLCs that you can pay for. So the idea of Snow is simple. It is trying to bring you the most true-to-life, open-world, ski, snowboard, snowmobile experience out there. So it's not like the SSXs of the world, meaning it's not uh, super over-the-top. It's definitely more lifelike. It's not as forgiving. It's not as nutty. It's not as uh, techno-y sounding, if you will. So... <clears throat> It's more for those of you that are purists, you know, skiers, snowboarders, those that actually do the sport. Or if you like the X Games, because I do have a partnership with the X Games, so there is an X Games mode in snow. Uh, so what you're looking at now, I'm just kind of playing through the tutorial as a skier, because that's what I do in real life. There, You could also be a snowboarder or switch to a snowmobile at any time. So... As you can see, the controls are very, uh, I wouldn't say touchy, they're fairly precise, but they're so lifelike that you almost have to approach the game as if you are skiing. So that could be good or bad, depends what you want in an open world snow sports type of game. You, know, you, you got all your tricks, you got your jumps, your grinds, whatever, all the stuff's there. Uh, you're not going to be pulling moves like SSX where you're 80 feet up in the air doing 500 flips and 30 twists. But you can do a lot of stuff you've seen on the X Games if you get good enough. Now I did, as you can see, I've, I've ran into some challenges with the jumping. And it, sometimes the gravity mechanics feel a little bit off. Physics can get a bit wonky. Uh, but I can surely go fast up a hill and try again. So uh, I'll just keep commentating throughout this video. I'll shut up at some times, speak at others, but more or less we're just playing snow so you can check it out and watch how terrible I am at skiing. Wait till you see this trick. Watch this. You ready for this, people? Oh, get some 360 standing. See, I did, it's just, just playing around with the mechanics here, the physics of the game. Like I said, very lifelike feeling. Uh, visually, game looks pretty damn good, and it is open world. I mean, I'm talking open, open. You can ski right past the lodges and get into the woods and find undiscovered trails. So that has, I mean, the game has that going for it. Again, it's very authentic. So if you're into an authentic sports game uh, simulation, snow may be for you. Plus, it's going to be free to play, which is a bonus. So if you don't like it, you can just delete it. It's not like you're going to lose any money. You're doing some grinding. I'm a badass. Eat that. Eat that. Sign me up for X Games. So you can see you get uh, scores, points, line ratings for every run you make. Uh, you lose points as well if you do something screwy like a bad landing. Here I'm deciding, you know, it's easier just to ski backwards than try and turn myself around again. So that's one thing in snow. Like I said, the controls aren't wonky at all. I think they're actually very precise. But if you're used to a more kind of comical take or comic book take on snowboarding or skiing, it's going to take you a little bit to get used to the more precision required controls in snow. I'm going to hit this jump like a boss. Tuck position. Go. Woo. Hey, how about that? A bio 540. Exactly what I was trying to pull off. Like I said, very open world here. You can end the sessions if you hit a lodge, or you can continue to ski on past it. So I'm just going to keep going. I mean, the, the, the one nice thing about snow is it lets you go where you want to go, for the most part. And you can ski on wood. Alright, so here we've switched courses. We're on a new trail. That's the other thing. There's multiple mountains, and each mountain has different drop points. Drop points can feature a trick park like this. 
uh, slope style for skiing courses or just pure downhill. So here we're going to get more of the kind of trickery going on. Doing all right. Now I've only been playing for a few minutes here. So like I said, the controls aren't hard to figure out, but they are hard to master. There's definitely going to be a technique you got to get down, especially for this type of stuff. Oh, the half pipes are tough. But you got like the ragdoll physics when you crash. They definitely do a good job with that. Let's see if we can do better this time. Whoa, he just bailed out right away. So what you can do if you do crash or screw something up, instead of, uh, you could restart and lose points, but you can also rewind, which is a nice feature. So you can re rewind to a time before you screw up. In there, so made it out safely. Didn't look good, but made it out safely. Oh, give me that backflip, son. I definitely got stuck on a lot of moves because your hand just kind of, you know, you control everything, obviously, with the controller. Namely, the shoulder buttons are what allow you to do the tricks, X jumps, and then your, you know, joystick. You can turn yourself, you can grab your skis or your snowboard. And here we go, into a wall. Yeah, get some. How about that trick? Up and down. It's called the old up and down. Now this is called the slow down. Jump sideways 180 through the snow tunnel. Good thing there's not a clock or I would have lost. So here at the end of the run. Now I could end the run here or you could also just go past it and keep going. But we'll, we'll switch to something else. So in addition to skiing, snowboarding, and snowmobiling, you also have a drone. I guess it goes hand in hand with action sports, GoPros, drones. They all fit. So you can pull the drone out to just kind of scope the course out. So look, I mean, it, it is a good-looking game. I mean, it is very true to real life. The snow, especially in these courses, the jumps, have to appreciate what the devs accomplished with the visuals. So me, hey there, crowd. Crowd, on the other hand, they're a little generic looking. Maybe they'll fix that once it moves out of early access in the beta. All right, so here we're just going on more of a downhill run. It's at nighttime. This will kind of show you the freedom you have in snow, the its open world tendencies and exploring, finding trails, and just kind of skiing. I mean, it, this is probably my favorite part of the game because I do like to ski. Haven't done it in a while, so it was nice to kind of do it uh, digitally. This is more like what most of us do when we go skiing. We're not doing the flips, twists, mc McFakies. We're just going down the hill having a good time. So I, I did appreciate these segments in snow. And you can pick them. It's not like you're forced into doing them. Again, you pick your mountain, and then you pick where you want to drop in, and that will usually dictate what type of run you're going to have. Is it going to be trick-based, slope style, or just a downhill run? So here I'm cooking with gas. Skiing like a maniac. Notice the world is all rendered. Nothing's kind of blurry or pixelated in front of me to catch up. So uh, technically, I think snow is pretty damn competent, even in early access and beta. Again, open world. Doesn't mean I have to stop there. I can keep going anywhere I want. Even if I want to go uphill and over to this lift, I can do it. Hey, where's my ride? Wait for me, guys. Where's my ride, guys? Doesn't matter. I'll just go this way. All right, so here is the snowmobile, which you can switch to literally at any time just by hitting a button on the controller. And these get kind of wild. Definitely get cooking with gas here. I think we're going to see a pretty good wreck coming up to experience the game's killer ragdoll physics. It's coming up. Here we go. Here comes the rack. Pretty sure that one hurt. I don't think he'd be getting up after that one. So now I could rewind or I could just restart to where I was. It's up to me. Those are the type of options Snow gives you. So we're just going to move on to another run here this one's more purely just for jumps I don't get excited I still don't really pull off anything amazing there's a nice uh, hey look at that double front flip take that 
I gotta keep my line. The line is basically as straight as you can get down through the tricks. There's a look at that. I'm pretty damn good. Bad landing my ass. See the different textures in the snow? You know, you got the smooth stuff where the runs are, or you got the more uh, pox stuff or powder where the runs are not. So here we go. We're open world. When we finish that jump course, we're like, we don't care. We want to go check out the rest of the mountain. And that's what you can do in snow. Game definitely embraces its open world uh, description. There's no doubt about it. It's so peaceful, isn't it? Yeah, it? This part would almost be cool if they did it in VR. I don't know if you'd throw up or anything, but these runs were definitely peaceful. Something I appreciate the most in snow, without a doubt. Just kind of pushing the boundaries here of the game in the open world so I've more or less hit no man's land but it's still letting me go I don't know where I'm going have no clue if I'm even close to the map or where I need to be but I'm open world myself wherever I feel like it because I am a snee a snee more like a ski patroller Let's go on for days, people. We'll only watch this uh, exploration for a few more seconds here. Notice I still haven't stopped. Still keeping my momentum going forward. Skiing over roads, no big deal. Alright, so let's change pace back to a jumping course. Ho! Oh, super twisty McFlippo! Oh, he lands it. Side flip 540. Get some. And boosh! <laughs> you gotta like that. Like I said, the ragdolls are fantastic. Let's try another run here. I can do it! I can do it! I can do it! Whoosh! Whoosh! Oh, a double bio. Yeah, I'm cool with those. Too much speed, buddy. You gotta slow down before you hit the wall, right? Wee! The people love me. See how generic the crowd is? Like I said, those could definitely use uh, some sprucing up in the final version of the game. It's all right in early access and beta, but those are about as generic of NPCs as you get. Try it again here. Same jump. Now, what do, you, what do you do? Like, what's your goal in this? Well, it's really just to post scores and, and earn credits, stuff you can buy to unlock new gear, new boots, new skis, new poles, jackets, goggles, helmets, all that fun stuff. But really, it's just, it's open world. Come in, have fun. Oh, look at that. He's out of the map, people. Here's where we get ourselves stuck in a little glitch as I go through generic man land. They don't exist. I go right through them. Oop, and that's it, so... Yeah, check those skills out. You won't see that at the X Games people. A levitating skier. Hey, it's early access. What do you expect? You're going to get some glitches. All right, so uh, we'll wrap it up here with another trick course. Got some rails we're going to ride here or try to grind. Or just jump over them, do a twist, and then jump into them. So hopefully you've gotten an idea of the different types of activities you can do in snow by watching this video. I mean, you can just explore on the downhill runs. You can get crazy on these slope style or trick courses. Uh, again, you can snowboard, you can ski, you can snowmobile, and you even have a drone to pull out and check out the map. I do like the jumping. I just I wish the jumping was a little bit more like SSX. You get really crazy jumps, but. I, I respect and appreciate the authentic approach that this game has taken. Ooh, a 900. Even with a bad landing, I'll take it. Hey, you're not going to see that in the X Games either. How about that move? Look at this. I'm skiing backwards. Still have momentum. Not going down the hill. Physics do get a little wonked out at times. But still fun. 
So here you can see I was talking about you can you know pick your drop points. So you pick a mountain, then you pick the drop points. The drop points will dictate what you get into. So here we're still on this jump of mine that or back to the jump that we were at earlier. No, actually we're at a half pipe now. So the half pipes I think it'd be a ton of fun, but they are tough. Again, because this game follows real world physics. You gotta keep your momentum going, but you also gotta jump at the right time off the lips. And it's not as easy as it looks. I mean, I'm, I'm doing okay here, but see, my, my momentum's dead. At this point, the run is more or less screwed. So it, it took me a while to figure this, the, the half pipes out. Still have not mastered it. Do a lot of stuff like that. Uh, things that don't get me that high up in the air, so my scores aren't fantastic. But I am damn good at skiing backwards. Another amazing trick. All right, people, well, I'm going to leave you with that. Hopefully you liked what you saw. Again, this is Snow, the beta on the PS4. That's what you're looking at right now. Sorry, it's in 720p. I'm lazy and just used the built-in PSR DVR. Uh, it should be hitting, I don't like to say retail, but it should become publicly available sometime in 2017. It will be free to play with paid content. So it's out on Steam on Early Access right now. Then you got the beta on PS4. I think it's closed beta, so you can't get in. Uh, but if you like what you saw, or if you just like at Winter X Games, skiing, snowboarding, snowmobiling, I think you'll, uh, you'll appreciate what it has to offer. Like I said, it's free, so it's not really going to cost you anything if you don't like it in the end. So thanks for watching. Matt Haywood here for EntertainmentBoo.com signing off and urging you to tune into the site on a daily basis because we will make you a better geek one post at a freaking time. Entertainmentbooter.com